How's it going? All right. You know, when you go out to work or meet others, you're taking yourself with you. Therefore, today's audio is all about how you feel about it. Listen to this. I titled it, Meet Everyone with an Open Mind at a Different Place. Uh, please don't forget to check out my TikTok uh, for short videos. The link is in the description box. Wishing you an awesome and happy day and a great week. Enjoy and chill. This workshop was recorded in Long Beach, California on Saturday, the third day of August of the year 2019. Thank you so much. I really set the intention to be in this seat with you today, so thank you. And my question is, I know that I have a purpose and a calling. To be happy. Yes, for sure. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Now. To be happy now. Be happy now. Not later. Now. Yes. That's your purpose and your calling. Exactly. That's the constant calling that your inner being is calling you to. Come here, you'll feel good. 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 Mm -hmm. Come here, you'll feel good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. And I know this logically, and I'm there a lot of the time. Then it's more than logic. You've proved it to yourself. Right. Right. For sure it's not theory no something you know exactly I know for sure and I have gotten used to more used to following my emotional guidance and I'm so grateful for, for all of your work um, and my my current career is not really exactly aligned with it's all right yeah <laughs> you've got a choice mm -hmm. be in a career that's not really aligned and feel good about it or be in a career that's not really everything that you want it to be and feel bad about it because mm -hmm. if your goal is to live happily ever after now yeah. not happily ever after happily ever now yeah. then don't you want to segment and tend yourself into alignment now absolutely and won't that lead to more and more and more and more and more and more and more yes and I knew that and I just wanted you to tell me that <laughs> we have some questions for you sure do you believe that through the short life that you've lived and the experience that you've had that you have put all of your preferences into your vortex absolutely you think everything's there you don't think you don't know uh, I think it's always expanding is it possible that your inner being literally guided you to this experience because of so much more data that can go quickly into your vortex absolutely and it's happening fast isn't it very fast and so look at it as a really fertile ground for clarifying your vortex for yourself rather than something that's holding you apart from what you want because your experience as it unfolds is benefiting tremendously from what you are living right now that's always true to some extent but it is really big time true with this I see because I feel the contrast the immense contrast between my current job and wh what I am already doing for example for example, when I am doing what I'm passionate about, which is speaking, coaching people, writing, I feel so much energy and just flow. Well, what you're describing is the flow, not the thing. It's not what you're doing, it's the flow that you're describing. So now make the statement about where you are. Tell us how it feels. Where I am. So in my current job, I feel almost like exhausted by it I'm exhausted in my current job because I'm not focused on it in a way that my inner being is flowing with me right. my inner being is appreciating all of the aspects of this job but I'm choosing to look at it differently so since I have a different opinion than my inner being does about this perfect place where I now am I'm exhausted by it because I'm not allowing myself the invigoration that my inner being is feeling right well <laughs> but a very conditional person would say I need to be in a different place so that I can feel better and somebody who's understanding this would say I want to feel better right where I am yes and that's the message I've been getting from you through many sources yes <laughs> yes let's play with this a little bit describe it briefly about how it's exhausting you and then let's find another way of looking at it okay thank you so I take on the energy of my patient okay, so before you go before you get there to your work you're in your house getting ready to go how are you segment intending are you rushing are you rushing to be on time 
Sometimes. So are you taking pleasure in the readying of yourself for no. the segment that's coming next? Well, it kind of <laughs> starts right there. So right. It, you screwed up that segment. So now you're in the car and you're on your way. Are you taking pleasure in the beauty of what's out there? Are you appreciating the magnificence of your vehicle? Sometimes I am. Sometimes. But well, how are you generally feeling on your way to work? Um, it depends. One quick <laughs> question. Looking forward to it or dreading it? Dreading it. Really? Isn't that interesting? <laughs> dreading it. So a segment that's coming up, I'm using that as my excuse to block myself off. No wonder you're exhausted. You've pinched off all the replenishment. You're not letting any of the natural replenishment in. You've got it all blocked off. It started when you first got up. And so now you walk in the door. And since you've been, we appreciate this so much, co-creating at its worst. So that's the momentum that you've got going. When you show up at work, what's the trend? That's the trend. Glad to be there? No. Not really. <laughs> Looking forward to being someplace else? Yes. God, yes. Yeah. Any yeah. place else. Let's walk through it another way. So you awakened and you slept good and you're comfortable in your bed and the temperature in your room was nice and you got a good night's sleep and you wake up and you've decided before you even went to sleep that you're going to wake up and look for positive aspects and so did you find some? I, yeah. Yeah. Feeling pretty good. Is there anything that greets you in your house when you wake up that is positive in nature that you'd like to talk about here? Um, anything that greets me. I mean, I have a cat. He's cute. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> a happy cat. A cat that's so far out ahead of it, you're not going to bring that cat down. Because that cat could care less <laughs> about how much sleep you got or the fact that you're going to go off someplace you don't want to be because that cat is stretching in the sun and eager for the food to be offered, that cat should be feeling guilty because it should be earning its own food, right? <laughs> so you've got this cat that you're just really happy to see. What else? And if my boyfriend's there, yeah. I get some cuddles in the morning. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> he makes me breakfast. Or even the aunt, really? <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> did you earn it? <laughs> So now you're in your vehicle and you're on your way and because you have some positive momentum going now you are more likely to feel a little more eager about this day. You see what happens is if you're not segment intending, if you are not focused on the potential pleasure from the segment that you're in, if you're in a segment where you're moving through traffic but you are dreading where you're going, can you see how, so don't think about what's coming next. Instead, prepare yourself for the best of what will be there when you get there. So bask, notice the traffic that's flowing for you. Notice others that yield to you and let you in. How long is your commute? I drive like all day to people's homes, so I'm driving a lot. So you're in a lot of traffic. Yeah. You're in different places, you see different things, there's a lot of variety to see. Some of it you don't want to see, some of it you would like to see, but in every situation there is always something that you can see and feel good about. And so now you've arrived somewhere and under this new scenario, because you've got some momentum going and because you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on in a way that you are not usually, you'll meet them at a different place. You just will because it's attraction, 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 attraction. It's not assertion. They cannot assert themselves into your experience. If you've had a good morning and a good commute and you walk in and you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, they cannot evoke something that doesn't feel good from you because you've got that momentum going. You've got your sea legs, you've got your shock absorbers, you're in touch with your inner being who has insight into you and into them and into the process to get them from where they want to be. So they have desires that they hold. You hold some of those same desires and now your inner being is calling you toward those. It's very satisfying. And when you leave there, you know what you say? You say what Esther says when she goes behind the curtain at the end of a day like this. Oh my God, does it get any better than this? Isn't this just the most wonderful thing in the world that I get to be here in the middle of all of this? Well, it doesn't matter if you are talking to one person or to a room full of people. The satisfaction factor is the same. When you tune in to who you are and deliver, receive and deliver from that non-physical perspective, the satisfaction factor is enormous. Mm -hmm. 
So one last question. Yes. This is all great. Thank you so much. I know this is my human self, but I'm wondering like, in terms of how do I know, because I am on the path to creating a new career for myself that feels more aligned, and I'm not sure um, when. Let's pick up that stick that says career. Okay. It doesn't say, what's your current label for your job? Occupational therapist. It doesn't say that. It might say that on that end. Right. But what's on the other end of that? How does your inner being describe your job from the other end of that stick? Mm. Uplifter intuitive articulate good communicator tuned in tapped in turned on influencer isn't that what would be on the other end of any occupational stick that you have yeah thank you yeah really good thank you yeah, yeah. Thank you.